what is up youtube i'm so happy to be back but we are down here at cr detailing and i'll just give you a little sneak peek oh oh i almost gave it all away ah all right guys so we are down here at cr detailing per usual um they're really the only ones that will i don't know wash my car for me um plus i'm going to be putting a thing up on instagram probably soon um these guys literally have seen this car grow up so much um i just was uh, in contact with their instagram guy um he's gonna be sending me over the pictures of like i was really like one of the first 10 customers here and carl's bone stock and he, you just watch it grow up it's just so cool because if you ever come here um i'll also put their their instagram in their uh address here down here and also in the uh, description um again but if you ever come here they have tvs inside if you guys watched my trip to cr detailing in the past um they have a beautiful waiting room and everything like that um but on the tvs they have the pictures of the cars that come in and you'll see me a lot on there because I, I do come here quite a bit i mean it is a little expensive um it's like 50 bucks for a hand wash vacuum windows all that kind of stuff but i mean in all reality that's not bad um because i'm just lazy but once we leave here um, i'm trying to get together with a couple guys to do a collab and we are going to go do the big reveal on the subaru stay tuned all right guys so we just left cr detailing um they are hiring for detailers um so if you guys are a detailer or looking for a detailing job hit them up um they're they're hurting pretty good for detailers um but they still do one hell of a job i swear um but we are up here in Lingostown. um a lot of you people might know where i am this is where the cops cars and coffee is usually held um i think it's called george park beautiful spot it's a great day thank god there's not a lot of people here so i can do footage um but let's get to all the modifications that have been done to this car since I've last uploaded. And guys, this is probably gonna be a long video because there's so much stuff I have to cover, so much parts I have to discuss. There's just so much. <laughs> I just can't believe how much stuff has changed on this car. But all right guys, let's get started. All right, so first few things. Um, I finally got a splitter again. Uh, that's a JNC splitter um, lip, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it's pretty not it's pretty cool. I mean it has a little bit of aggressiveness to it um, I did uh, <laughs> I got some fog light overlays um, I'll tell you Amazon is amazing when they have the Amazon day deals. I bought them for like three bucks now They kind of look like trash, but it gives me something until I can actually do fog lights um, I'm not sure if I had this on last time, but I did get a Japanese plate with the um, license plate relocation kit uh, I, I like it um, you know it's just you know cheap plate so I mean of course it's gonna have you know paint chips and everything like that but it was 25 bucks I'll keep buying them as as I need um, but to run these Japanese plates you do have to cut new holes into the um, relocation kit um, I'm gonna go upside down for you for you guys for a minute but you can see right here that's a stock location and you got just you just gotta drill holes about a half inch out of out of the spot there but here's one killer thing that i did put on the car and i'm going to give this guy a huge shout out it is burns auto um they are phenomenal um bernie he's a really great um customer service representative you come up with an idea nine times out of ten it's going to get made but people you know wanted unbadged carbon grills and i was lucky enough to get one of five of the first direct shipment and holy cow guys this thing is just beautiful um, amazing quality OEM fit I mean as you can see there there's no gaps anywhere um, if there is it was mainly my fault um, but you can use all the uh, uh, stock mounting equipment um, the screws everything like that now granted I had to run a little bit longer screws because I didn't know what I was doing honestly but I mean the the quality on this is amazing and it's not that uh stuff that you'll find real cheap like the um carbon overlaid fiberglass this is 100 percent genuine carbon um with a nice little metal aluminum whatever it is mesh piece um 
again shout out to them now this was five hundred dollars um i am partially sponsored by burns so i do get stuff a little bit cheaper um but i have to give the shout out to him because not because i'm partially sponsored or anything but he just does amazing work i mean you can see here the weaves i mean they're just beautiful weaves no imperfections in it um it might be a little dirty you know I, hey cr does the best they can with the people they have i'm not going to complain about them it's for what you spend and how long you you're there hey if there's a bug or a little bit of dirt on my car i'm not going to complain it still comes out 10 times better than what i would have done but um oh another thing we did install hella horns holler you can't have a subaru without hella horns right all right all right moving down to the side of the car we got wheels we got wheels and we got air ride look at that fitment guys Whew. oh i forgot the tire shine my wheel shoot <laughs> oh well but another thing you're gonna see is no more mud flaps now a lot of you guys are like why'd you take your mud flaps off that's a subaru thing well <laughs> when i air out it looked really stupid they would bend up and all kinds of stuff it was just it was better to take them off um next thing oh we also have r40 lug nuts um what's the cool thing with them is they're open-ended and uh they kind of match the wheel i did not try that but they were very expensive lug nuts um the cool thing with these is if you have plastic dip wheels powder coat wheels anything like that the bottom ring is actually on a ball bearing so when you put them on it won't screw it up um for a direct ship of r40 lug nuts for subarus direct from japan um they're like i think 170 bucks um now you guys are probably like dude you're so stupid why would you buy 174 dollar 175 dollar lug nuts i don't know because they look cool <laughs> my plan is down the road to go drilled um uh, drilled or slotted rotors along with extended lug nuts why i don't know because i can i don't know but moving on we did get side skirt extensions which they stick out pretty good i mean we got a lot of room i mean <laughs> it's probably a good five inches these are actually off of a legacy gt <coughs> excuse me um custom fitted of course by balkan automotive because i am now balkan built i will put them also in the uh, description and right here more than likely because they're the best guys I have ever met. You literally bring up an idea, they will give it to you. Um, you want something custom, you got it. You want something just randomly installed, they got you. you a lot of people take their car somewhere, they get screwed up. Guess who normally ends up fixing it? Balkan Automotive. I know quite a few guys with uh, WRXs and STIs that they did some work and it shows up, <laughs> shows up at the, uh, the shop a couple days later. But all right guys so here is the main reason you guys are watching this video you probably got some sneak clips of it while at cr um while i've been doing my whole little move thing here you probably saw a little bit of it all right guys i can't hold out no longer boom look at that oh man this thing is beautiful i do have the battle arrow uh 74 inch chassis mount wing uh thing is thing is absurd man it's like six foot two tall like if you stand it up it's pretty hellaciously wide i mean it, it's probably i want to say an inch in from the mirrors um i do want to actually get in contact with burns auto um and see if they can make me an 80 inch carbon fiber wing um a lot of you guys are probably like oh why don't you go carbon in the first place i mean i'll give it to battle arrow but the wait time on a carbon wing is just so long. Um, I get it. You got to wait six to eight weeks to manufacture the wing. I get that. I really do. But you can't even order a carbon wing off their website. Um, I don't know if they're just on that much of a back order or something. But I was just like, you know what? Screw it. We're just going fiberglass. I mean, it's just as good. If you remember my old wing, it used to wiggle. This thing don't do nothing. Nothing. I love it. Um, now, the only downfall... Um, I'm going to come at you pretty hard here, Battle Arrow, if you guys are actually watching this, which I highly doubt because I'm the nobody. But, um, I mean, you can see, like, right there is, like, a really smooth spot, and then it's all, like, pitted and everything like that. The only thing I would recommend is sand it, something, something to make it look clean. 
um actually one of the holes on the side i think it's actually this side um it's kind of actually there it is it's actually a little lopsided <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a dink i mean this is stuff that i'm picking up because i've seen it um but whatever um now we did have to cut the bumper pretty hellaciously um i did install this is actually a windshield washer hose i just split it down the middle and ran it up up here we're gonna probably throw a piece of vinyl um just just to cover it up a little bit but the other downfall is so there's a couple points where it mounts you got mounting here mounting here that's not supposed to actually be there and the other one is actually in the bumper now the one that's in the bumper is actually the, the locking locking bolt locking nut whatever because these wings you're probably looking at it like dude kodiak how do you open your trunk there, there's no way you can open your trunk like that and that's where you're correct but also incorrect so you have a the uh you have like a little bit of a sway room here so what balkan did is we drilled holes right there on the top side of the sway so and then these these remove i mean it's i have it locked pinned on the other side here but then the whole wing will actually fold back and i can get in the trunk now it, you can't go get groceries because it doesn't fold back that far but i have my air set up right in the uh the front of the trunk so if i have to get to my air setup for let's say i get an air leak or something along those lines it's enough to do that <laughs> but also um before i keep getting too far um don't worry i'll go back to the wing i'll show you some more stuff about the wing but we have to get to these uh invictus aero this is who made my rear diffuser here it is just beautiful guys beautiful um, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative of a diffuser, check out um, Invictus Aero. I will drop them here as well and also in the description. Um, really great customer service. It's a little bit hard to get a hold of them sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me, but 10 out of 10 would recommend them. Now, there's a few things I tweak on it. Um, it is plastic, but no one's ever really going to know. Um, like one of the one of the fins was bent up a little bit all you gotta do is take a heat gun bend it back you gotta think it's summertime it's plastic it's in the back of a tractor trailer getting shipped from nevada those tractor trailer you know they get hot you know they're probably like 100 plus degrees inside them trailers going down the road when it's hot out it's gonna it's gonna bend i get it so i didn't give him too much harsh feedback on that but if you guys want a really great diffuser I mean, it just sets off the whole rear end of this car. You know, I have stupid aggressive diffuser, stupid large wing. You know, it's just, it, it all blends together. And my favorite part about it is most diffusers are all one piece. And then they have a little slide piece for your exhaust. This here is a true three piece. Um, the center piece, obviously you want to line that up as best as you can. And the side piece, you can really do whatever you want. If you have a more aggressive um, wide exhaust, you can push it out a little bit. If you have stock exhaust with the, the two tips, or well, quad tips essentially, you can move it in a little bit. But what Balkan and I decided to do was to make it actually run flush with the bumper line and flush up in the front there. And we got this. I mean, I'm, I'm real happy with it. It came out pretty nice. Another thing that I got was this NVIDIA N1 exhaust. Um, I hate single tips. Um, you know what I mean? Like Subaru guys know what I mean. Single only comes out one side. I mean, you have two holes, might as well fill it up. I'm not a real fan of the quad tip stuff. So I went with the NVIDIA N1. Uh, sounds great. I am uncatted, unresonated from the turbo back to the cat. There is no cat because um, NVIDIA doesn't have cats in it. Um, but it does have one resonator and then obviously two mufflers dude if you want something that sounds good but not obnoxious like an ets straight pipe nvidia n1 is the way to go um there's times where i'm just like eh, kind of a little louder but then you put your windows down you're like oh never mind it's pretty loud <laughs> um also amazon day again i got uh taillight tin cover pieces there they're like five bucks um I did get an F1 light. Things pretty gnarly. I'll uh, I'll start the car up and hit the brakes and stuff. I'm gonna do like a 
overview of the car once I'm done jabber jawing here. Um, also got a color match blue Subaru logo badge Duma bobber. Um, oh, I got some of this stuff at uh, where was that Boxer Fest down there in York. That was a pretty good show. <coughs> um, now a lot of people keep asking me, and it's kind of getting to me a little bit. Because uh, I get the same question all the time. So most of you guys know I had a wing on the trunk. So they're like, oh, well, what are you going to do with those, man? That's classified for right now. Just know that they're not going to be on there. Um, actually, the whole tr I can't say too much. I, I, I got to stop. But they're going to stay on for now. I'm not going to worry about plugging. I'm not going to worry about, you know, fixing the trunk. Trunk's gone. Um, so... With whatever I do decide to do, you know, don't worry. I got it. Um, but I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek on something that will be coming. So I did do my wing inlets in this amazing vinyl. I did that side. Now, granted, I, I wrap these myself because I like to do something. But I did kind of a real trash job. So down the road we're going to actually do both sides of the wing inlet <laughs> i just didn't have enough but you guys can see like this stuff is just beautiful now a lot of you guys know that i'm huge into breast cancer research i lost two mom figures in my life due to breast cancer i hate it i want it gone i want it killed you know we, we need to find a cure for this shit because it, it's it's terrible I, I i hate it it gets me choked up every time but what i'm going to be doing is this wrap will be the whole car um this will be a dedicated breast cancer find a cure you know something along those lines car um you know as you guys know before i did have the breast cancer ribbon up on here and some of you may remember when i had the breast cancer ribbon here i'm just so huge into finding a cure for breast cancer it's unreal um, there's too many women losing their lives due to breast cancer. So my little thing of a give back is to wrap the car in a breast cancer theme. Um, I'm not doing it for clout. I'm not doing it for to look cool. I'm not doing anything like that. I, I just want, you know, breast cancer research, awareness, anything like that just out there. I know everyone knows about breast cancer. I get it. But if one person can do something, you know, it helps, you know. They're, like the the one show I love to go to is Turn Up the Pink. Um, that's actually coming up. I'll have to request off work for that show. But that is literally the only show that I'm willing to pay money to get into. Um, like any other show like Motorama, um, Creatures of the Night, anything like that. I'm just like, yeah, you know, it's really not going to a good cause. You know, it's just people want money. But Turn Up the Pink, all the proceeds or basically all the money itself goes to... Um, finding a cure i think it does go to uh feel your boobies foundation and that one i'm 100 I'm percent sure that 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 is my go-to show always a great turnout grows every year i'll throw some stuff in the um, description about that but i am done <laughs> slapping my lips together and making words come out of my mouth now we're just going to do a little bit of a walk around on the car all right guys
right guys i hope you really enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it um uh, man as the title says while i've been gone i'm sorry for that work's just been crazy i've been picking up a lot of overtime we're short on people and <laughs> i like money so i've been just working 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 um i'm probably pulling like a 14 hour day shift every day six days a week um that's how i built a car like this i mean i'm on air ride i got wheels i got chassis mount wing i got everything going on here but a lot of it some partial sponsorships some just saving money properly which i know is hard for me to say um a lot of stuff too is used um a big thing i'll say to a lot of kids out there um between like 17 and 19 maybe even 20 don't buy brand new a lot of, there's only three things on this car that i bought brand new from a factory um my wheels used air system you know bags tank management lines everything used uh lip i bought new um because it was 100 bucks um but other than that like there's a lot of stuff on this car that i bought used um exhaust used so one thing i gotta tell you guys i mean this could even go to the older guys that are getting into the car community now you know they're they're seeing that starting to expand again don't buy brand new i mean i have a subaru um you gotta think from 15 to now they're almost identical the only thing really different is the head unit and the bumper really about it um apparently now 18 and a half and plus there's a new clutch system i don't know but whatever you know now clutches you don't buy used i mean unless you're limping it but there's so many guys out there you know that have a 15 and their lease is up so they modify their car for the lease and then they do a part out buy it then um you know my nvidia n1 cat back brand new it's like eh, around 900 to 1200 dollars. i paid 300 bucks for it who cares no one's going to see it except for the tips oh okay they're a little screwed up polish them fix them something you know the wheels okay i bought them the kid was kind of mean about it and he curbed it literally the day before i bought them whatever you know used stuff is just so much more practical um and plus i'd rather give small companies more of a chance um i try not to buy from subi speed even though i will be buying taillights from them because they're the only ones i found i like um import image racing rally sport direct i'm not giving you guys a hard time here but i try not to buy from them um because they're a big name because when you email them or call them like oh what's your order number okay it's da 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 okay we see that your order has been shipped blah 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 what's the problem okay cool but like i don't like being a number to somebody burns auto hey kodiak how you doing invictus arrow hey kodiak how's it going balkan yo what's up asshole what's up yeah <laughs> i mean you know that's just how it works you know i mean i'd rather give the small companies a better rep I'm trying to build my car mainly off small companies um, because in all reality, you get better customer service, you get better everything. Now granted, the quality might not be right there with the big companies because they have warehouses, they have big manufacturing plants across the world, blah, blah, blah. But like Burns Auto, he makes small batches of stuff. Now granted, there might be an imperfection here or there. You, you can't help that, especially with carbon. But I mean, who cares? I mean, if you have a little imperfection in your car, boom, you have a one-off. No one has the same thing as you. That's one way to think about it. But all right, guys, I am done rambling. I'm sorry, I just really missed YouTubing and I love it. I missed it so much. No, I did not give up, I just got busy. Um, as you guys can tell, it's been a little while since I talked into a camera. I don't have the, the whole eye contact thing down proper. I keep saying, um, uh, I stutter a little bit that's my fault uh, it's been a while like if you watch like the last video um i think it was called why senate steve sent me to new jersey i was pretty good in that video but now now i'm just like uh, 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 uh. i don't know how to talk right now <laughs> but all right guys that is the car that is what everyone's been waiting for hopefully this is up on sunday which will be august 25th um I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day because today, August 24th, today's Saturday, is my birthday. So, 
I'm gonna go do some fun stuff with the car. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm probably, <laughs> my birthday's probably gonna suck. I'm filming today. I'm probably gonna go home and edit this tonight and have it drop for you guys, hopefully for noon on Sunday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, alright guys, you guys have fun, I miss you, I hope you missed me, all like 300 subscribers of you guys, but I hope my YouTube takes off, I enjoy doing this, I don't do it for really anything but a hobby, and I just, I enjoy it, I like talking to you guys, I like showing you guys things, I like to do install videos, I like to, I like to help out, I like to, I don't know, I like to talk, I like to hear myself talk, <laughs> but alright guys, I will catch you later. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I appreciate all comments. I appreciate all criticism. What do you guys think of the car? Do you guys think I'm doing it right? Do you guys think I'm going a little bit too rice? Do you think I'm going too Tokyo Drift with it? Too Fast, Too Furious? What do you guys think? Let me know, and I will catch you guys on the next upload. But make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash that notification bell, and make sure you again, give a like, give a comment. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell somebody, come watch my videos. I'm counting on you guys. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.